All right, everybody, we're gonna do some zip lining today. Uh, should be pretty basic stuff. So I've got that maple right there. Hopefully you're just gonna zip line it to the chipper right there. Um, Scott and a couple guys are gonna go work in that yard. They're uh, doing some hedge stuff, so. Chipper's not at like the perfect angle for this, but I think it's gonna work pretty well. And I'll show you how I zip line this stuff out. And it's just a way of rigging really quickly. So hopefully this all turns out. There's Brian, he's gonna run the winch. He's excited. So here we go. So here are all my straps and I'll take this up with me. What I like to do is see, I've got this small strap right here. I don't know if you can see that. I got the small strap right here that holds all my bigger straps, but then I've also got this small strap right here. And uh, hold on, lost that. What I'll do is I'll keep that bundle up with me and then I'll leave this bundle here with Brian. And then as I zip these down, he'll just, as we go, I'll zip one down and he'll, you know, just clip it to that loop. And so eventually as we go, I'll have a big bundle. That way we don't have like a big pile of zip line straps at the end. And then also it's really important when you're doing stuff like this. Hold on. So try to clip all your carabiners the same way. Cause when you're up there and you're reaching down, it gets really confusing. If you've got some that are clipped on backwards, you'll fumble with this whole bundle a lot. So. As you go, clip them all the same way, but, so see what I mean? I'll just have one loop with me, one with him. Once I'm out, he'll just tie on the other loop and then I'll be good to go. So you can see, headed up, you see all the pockets of decay in this thing. Big leaf maple. These trees aren't that strong, so anyways, that's why this one is coming down. Look at already had one failure right there. So we are gonna chop her down. All right, so the zip line, there's really nothing to it. I've got a rope here, and all you gotta do is get the rope higher than whatever you're zip lining, and you just throw a strap on whatever, and you clip it to that. I like to clip it uh, so that, try to get the rope in that corner. Cinch that up. I mean, it's way easier, way faster than rigging. I'm just gonna go down there. Go ahead and hold that tight, guys. Both of you. If these are too heavy, we'll use the winch line, but we're gonna try to just do this by hand. And I'm gonna tie in again. You guys ready? They say they're ready. A little tangled up. Gonna, yeah, I just get both of you guys on that. bit closer to the chipper. A lot faster than rigging. It's a lot faster than lowering stuff. You know, you need to have a bit of open clear space to do this, but if you can zip line, it's always faster than lowering stuff. Let me get that again. Grab another strap. Tie on this bad boy. Again. Skyler there, the thumbs up.
dude the thumbs up that says he's ready. Bada bing, bada boom. Microphone's in there, and uh, I'm talking to Brian this whole time, so I just tell him, Hey, I got one on, he pulls tight, so it works very nicely. Otherwise, we can give thumbs up and stuff, but it can get kind of hard to see, especially on really tall trees. So, here I'm at the, the top of this lead, I can't really advance the line anymore, so I'm just gonna throw a sling around it. This will be a little more violent. They call this negative rigging because the load is above the rigging point. But what I'll do, make it just a little safer. I'll put two straps on. I'll clip one in one direction and one the other. Look how safe that is. I feel safe. You guys feel safe? They feel safe. I've got a little face cut. it in a notch first and then clipped it but whatever it's a small branch it's all good look how easy that is look how easy look how fast the tree's going all right now i'll zip line a few chunks out no big deal i'll just uh take my rope and i'll throw it around a branch right here all right and then i'll just take a uh that one's too small yeah i'm gonna throw some chunks on the zip line. Just little uh little log here. They're not gonna be huge. bigger and stronger than I expected. Wow. I would not want to fight those guys. <laughs> Good job. Smaller branches if you want. 
take these. Ready? Ready? Just throw these little guys right on like that. That's kind of fun. Only works with little ones though. One thing you have to be really careful about when you're zip lining, I, I worked with this guy, uh, this climber cut a stub and zip lined it down and the groundsman was like getting his footing, you know, on the ground. I looked down for just a second and it came down so fast that it hit his shin and completely broke his shin like in half. So small pieces of wood zip line crazy fast. The longer it is, if it's bushy, if it's a branch, they go more more slowly, so I'm just gonna uh, zip line this tiny chunk of firewood. Look how fast this thing flies. So that thing has so much momentum behind it. I mean, see how much that shook my tree. 
that thing will break a leg right in half. That hits you. Which is what, exactly what happened. So your zip line, keep that in mind. A lot of times, the longer they are, the better, because they move more slowly. You really got to be careful when you're taking pieces that have no drag, like logs and wood, and small stubs and stuff. So that's what I'd say is the most dangerous part of zip line. The other thing that's dangerous is putting too much pressure on the stem, like with a winch or something. That can make for a dangerous situation. But really watch out for that. Don't zip line your stubs if you can help it. All this included bark I did a Humboldt here because I did my if I did my cut and I did a conventional notch I'd be cutting into this but there's a little bit better wood right here so I'll do a Humboldt instead try to look for your better wood when you're putting in your notch all right uh, you guys uh, ready to pull this over and stuff another tip too if you put your wedge just in there a little bit like that if the tree starts to sit back, you'll see this wedge start to lift up, and if it starts to go the right way, it'll just fall out. So you kind of get an idea of where you're at on your stick.
Oh, jeez. This thing's... Well, it, it's totally cracked. I'm gonna tickle this face a little bit. Hopefully this big one will push that one over. Dang. So good. No, that worked. That worked well. Right on. Wow, that's a nasty tree. A couple of those bumps of the wedges, I saw it going. I know. That had me kind of nervous. Anyways, it's down, and that's it. Good job, guys.